because today we will learn about a retosion pale restoring phases in the diffusion model. This is a great model. It can restore faces from blurry whole pictures as well as pictures that are covered. For example, if a picture starts to break a lot, we put it in. Then it will help us recreate the face and generally sharper the faces that it has been without colors. We can choose reference colors to reproduce the face in the video. It's more colorful and vibrant. Those are the faces that are inadvertently hidden by some object or we deliberately drawing a line to cover the face. The face is still already created very beautifully and normally. This one everyone can see it's very okay. On the other hand, we can also choose references to recreate the face. Then the face will follow that reference quite similar to the reference we've chosen from the images we initially submitted. Besides the pictures that look like they were taken in the 70s, 80s, it's broken and it has some. If the road is very bad, we could restore it or we could restore it from old photos. Now let's find out how to place it. So, its structure can run on both Windows and Linux environments. Then, for the environment of Linux, we will improve and store Lanaconda to Creating a virtual environment is as simple as using Windows. And we can install Anaconda to run on this GitHub. Here, I will choose the second method. <laughs> that is, we will not use Anagona. We will create a virtual environment from Python 3.8. Our simple task is just to leave Python 3.8 and choose according to the, the GitHub that I created here. I've uploaded it. There are four files available. Everyone just needs to download these four files and they can proceed with the installation. After downloading these four files, we start installing MSI. We'll set Python, then Python here is 3.8. We can choose the guide to save. Python is in the OS or anywhere you want. Then we reinstall Microsoft's MPI. After we have installed the two .exe files, we will proceed to modify the path in the .bat file. Then this file path will have a Python path and we must, using WebHandler 3 Kunai, we need to copy the path of the bar that we have installed. Once it is done, we'll put it in here which will create a virtual environment for us. So after everyone has finished fixing this, everyone can Click on the bat file to continue the installation. Here in everyone in I will choose the install file to set up. First, we will delete the previous folder I installed to execute this, the installation for everyone to see. Then I just need to delete it and start installing it from scratch. I will touch install. When you click install, all the packets libraries are created along with the virtual environment. You just have to wait for it to finish installing. So here it has been installed. All modules are preloaded and if anyone wants to test, you just need to run this run bat file then it will automatically activate the virtual environment for us. And we just need to return to the website and we copy an example for us to test. Here, we will carry out the first test, which is retouching a very blurry picture. Then we will need to copy this command and paste it into the CMD. Then in the... My machine isn't that powerful, so I'll just choose one picture to work on. Running all the pictures will take a long time, so I will choose one photo. We will store this picture in another folder. I will put it in a backup folder and we will perform retouching on only one file for faster execution. So, after the retouching process, everyone can see that the picture becomes very sharp. And you can also try on some other thing. 
you can use different commands to change the color as well as fix many broken pictures using InPaint. And people use the heavier ones.